The Kissing Booth is a 2018 American teen romantic comedy film written and directed by Vince Marcello, based on the 2012 novel of the same name by Beth Rekels. It is the first installment in the The Kissing Booth film series. Let's move on to the story of the film. In LA, Elle Evans and Lee Flynn have been best friends since birth. When she is 11, her mother becomes ill and dies three years later. Elle's secret crush on Lee's popular older brother, Noah, deepens, which she suppresses. On the first day of her junior year in high school, Elle is forced to wear a too small skirt. When Tappan touches her inappropriately, Noah begins fighting with him. Tappan, Noah, and Elle are given detention, where Tappan apologizes. Elle later agrees to go on a date with him, but he stands her up, as Noah has warned everyone not to pursue her. The next day, Elle and Lee propose having a kissing booth as a school fundraiser. At a party, she tells the popular OMG girls, Olivia, MIA, and Gwyneth, that Noah will be part of the booth, despite him having already refused to participate. The kissing booth goes well until Noah is meant to participate, but Lee takes his place, disappointing the girls. A classmate, Rachel, steps up to kiss HM, and the two leave L to staff the booth. Annoyed with L, the OMG girl set her up to kiss an undesirable student. At the last second, the student waves Noah ahead. He kisses the blindfolded L, and when she realizes it's him, they kiss again in front of everyone. After, Noah offers Elle a ride on his motorcycle, and Rain forces them to take shelter in a gazebo. There, she kisses him, but then tells him she won't be just another sexual conquest. Hurt, Noah reveals he has feelings for her. At a beach party, Warren tries to get a resistant Elle into a hot tub. Noah defends her, whereby Warren taunts him, so Noah attacks him while Elle escapes. Noah catches up to her, and gives her a ride home. On the way, he apologizes for his violent reaction to Warren's slight. They detour to the Hollywood sign and have sex for the first time. They establish rules for their relationship, with the principal aim that Lee not find out they are together until Elle figures out how to tell him. The next day, at Noah's house Elle and Noah have sex again and Noah's mother arrives. Elle quickly hides under the bed. Elle overhears Noah's mother saying he had been accepted to an Ivy League school. He swears her to secrecy and reveals he has been accepted to Harvard University. While helping Noah fix his motorcycle, Elle cuts her face. Lee finds Noah cleaning the wound and accuses him of hurting her. When Lee asks Elle if she and Noah are dating, she says they are not. After agreeing to tell Lee the truth, he walks in on them kissing. Furious that Elle has broken an important friendship rule, Lee runs to his car, saying their friendship was the one thing his brother never had and that now he has nothing, and driving off. Elle lashes out at Noah, blaming him for exposing their relationship, so he leaves on his motorcycle. Noah risks not graduating by being absent from school for the next few weeks, and Lee completely ignores Elle. Finally, she sees Lee at the arcade, where he invites her to dance with him, and they reconcile. After, Elle goes to prom with Lee and Rachel, whom he is now dating. Huge black and white photographs adorn the walls of Memory Lane, a special prom exhibit, including the photos of the kissing booth. Noah emerges from the back, asking Elle to the stage and confessing his love for her publicly, but she runs away. He apologizes to Lee at home, telling him his feelings for Elle are serious despite the fact he is leaving for Harvard the next day. At Elle and Lee's birthday costume party the next day, Elle confesses her love for Noah to Lee. He relents, wanting her to be happy and agreeing to help her find Noah. Driving Lee's car, Elle shares her feelings for Noah with Lee, dressed in his Batman costume, only to discover it is Noah in disguise. Elle and Noah spend the following weeks together before he leaves for college. Watching him go, she is unsure if their relationship will last, but she knows a part of her heart will always belong to him. Kissing Booth 2 is a 2020 American teen romantic comedy film directed by Vince Marcello and written by Marcello and Jay Arnold. It is the sequel to The Kissing Booth 2018 and the second installment in the Kissing Boot film series. Let's move on to the story of the film. Elle's senior year begins with classmates gossiping that she and Noah will soon break up. This only adds to Noah's fears as he befriends an attractive British girl named Chloe on Instagram. Elle and Lee designed the kissing booth for the charity fair again. So, he tries to convince her to be one of the kissers from the new transfer student Marco Pina, dubbed Noah Flynn. Beating Marco at the dance, she forces him to participate in the chamber.
Noah suggests that L apply to Harvard, which conflicts with Lee's plans to attend the University of California, Berkeley, so L does it secretly. Talking to her father about college tuition, L has trouble learning about money and decides to enter a dance competition with Lee, with a big cash prize for first place. Lee has problems with Rachel because, unbeknownst to Il, Elle goes everywhere with them and doesn't give them time alone. After forgetting to watch Rachel at the movies, she asks Lee to talk to Elle, which he promises, but never does. Elle visits Noah in Boston. After, where he meets his new friends and Chloe, making her even more insecure. After, she finds Chloe's earrings under Noah's bed, which causes her to leave Boston. Confronting Noah, he assures her that nothing happened between him and Chloe, and he asks her to trust him, even though she's still skeptical. Lee slip slips during one of their training sessions, later revealed to be fake. After, so Marco offers to be her dance partner, which she's not too thrilled about, but eventually does. As Marco and Elle begin to spend time together, they grow closer, and an attraction begins to develop between them. The Halloween dance arrives, and Lee forgets to tell Rachel that they changed costumes, Rachel was a marshmallow while Lee and Elle went to crackers, making her even more upset. Elle shares a dance with Marco, almost kissing him, but stops when she hears people gossiping about her. Lee finds Elle's application to Harvard in the trunk of his car, angering him. Elle and Marco excel in their performance, and at the end of their dance, she kisses him, unaware that Noah is in the crowd, and he walks away. Thanksgiving dinner takes place at Flynn's. Noah brings Chloe, which upsets Elle. He later confronts her for not telling him about her application to Harvard, and Rachel is also upset with her. During dinner, Rachel realizes that Lee has never spoken to Elle. When he catches her, Rachel breaks up with him. After, Elle tries to convince Rachel to reconcile with Lee, but she fails. Carnival day arrives, and Lee and Rachel make up after a blindfolded kiss in the kissing booth. Elle is also blindfolded and approaches Marco who wants to talk to her about their feelings. Although she admits that there is an attraction between them, she tells Noah that she loves him and goes to the airport to find him. At LAX, Chloe tells her that he went looking for her, and Elle finds him in the park where they first kissed. After, Noah confesses that at first he was embarrassed because he didn't do as well at Harvard as he had hoped. Eli wants the same relationship with Chloe as he does with Lee. Elle and Noah reunite. A few months later, Noah returns and L, Lee, and Rachel graduate. Lee shares with Il that he was accepted at Barclay and asked if she received a response. She tells them she is waitlisted at both Barclay and Harvard. When L opens both envelopes in her room, it turns out she's been accepted to both universities, so she has a decision to make, go to Harvard with Noah or go to Barclay with Lee. The Kissing Boo 3 is a 2021 American teen romantic comedy film directed by Vince Marcello and written by Marcello and Jay Arnold. This is the third and final installment in the Kissing Booth trilogy, based on Beth Riekel's novel of the same name. Let S move on to the story of the film. After a post-graduation road trip, Elle still hasn't decided between going to Berkeley or Harvard, although Noah is already looking for an off-campus apartment for them. When Noah and Lee's parents announce they're selling the beach house where they all spent their childhoods, Elle, Noah, Lee, and Lee's girlfriend, Rachel, spend the summer there to help prepare for the sale. Lee shows Rachel his plans for them to see each other on holidays while going to colleges across the country from each other, while Elle is suddenly faced with Barclay's deadline. Choosing to go to Harvard with Noah upsets Lee, so she promises to spend the summer doing their beach bucket list together. Noah's friend Chloe, whom Il once thought he was having an affair with, arrives at the beach house, while Marco gets a job in the area. During a day at the water park, Noah and Marco clash, prompting Noah to call El naive for not seeing that Marco still has feelings for her. Tensions escalate when she struggles to divide her time between the brothers. Simultaneously, Elle struggles with accepting her father's new girlfriend, Linda fearing that she'll replace her. Encouraged by Chloe to talk to Elle, Noah makes up with her. Marco shows up at the 4th of July party where he again fights with Noah and punches him, but Noah refuses to retaliate. Marco admits to Elle he does still have feelings for her, but she rejects him. That night, Elle fights with her father over Linda, accusing him of only dating her for his own pride. In response, he angrily recounts the sacrifices he has made for her and her brother Brad and that she is not the only person who deserves to be loved. Unaware that Noah saw her acceptance letter to Barclay, Elle goes to find him at their spot. Worried she's only going to Harvard for him and that she will regret it, Noah breaks up with her. Heartbroken, Elle misses a bucket list with Lee to play Dance Dance Revolution. Arguing, Lee tells her that his never mattered to her compared to Noah, 
while she tells him to grow up and that all of her decisions this summer have been about trying to make everybody happy. Noah and Lee's mother tells Elle she should start thinking about what she wants to do and choose a college based on that. Chloe and Elle talk about Noah while saying goodbye, with Rachel eavesdropping on their conversation. Having seen the issues Elle and Noah's relationship had, Rachel breaks up with Lee, though she hopes they will someday reunite. Acknowledging how happy her brother is around her, Elle eventually understands and accepts Linda, reconciling with her father. Marco apologizes to her, and they say their farewells amicably before she makes up with Lee. She's realized that she spent so long maintaining her relationships with Noah and Lee that she hasn't worked out what makes her happy. Elle applies to University of Southern California to study game design. Inspired by her, Noah and Lee's mom decides not to sell the beach house. Six years later, Elle is developing her own game. She and Lee remain best friends, visiting the fated kissing booth at the charity fair and carnival. Additionally, Lee and Rachel got back together and became engaged after college. Elle sees Noah for the first time since their breakup there, where he reveals he has job offers at law firms in both LA and New York. Noah suggests going on a motorcycle ride when he's back in town and Elle agrees. They part ways, but not before looking back at each other. Elle and Noah ride down the coastline in California on their motorcycles, laughing and having fun.